Oh, this is familiar. Hello, it is Tuesday. I'm gonna get used to this. I don't look at myself in the mirror a lot. So looking at myself in the viewfinder is like, oh, that's right. I look, I have a face. <laughs> anyway, it is Tuesday. Um, last night, or technically this morning, my first vlog back to the channel went live and I've been reading the comments and it's been so wholesome and people have been sharing it that I didn't even think would share it or didn't even think I was on their radar and my heart, I'm just, it's so nice. So I'm really excited to be making content again. My business course starts this Friday and I'm really nervous and I'll tell you all about it on stream. Well, you would have seen it on stream already because this vlog comes out after that. Um, but, oh my god. <sighs> I'm going to have some breakfast. Now, let's, let's talk about food and ADHD and um, autism. So, because in the morning I'm half asleep and I don't have time to brain and I don't like cooking for myself, I just have up and goes. <laughs> um... We couldn't get to Aldi to get the Aldi version. We pr normally prefer to go to Aldi, but um, yeah, Aldi has a really a cheaper version. I get strawberry up and goes. That is how I have breakfast. It's not the most nutritious or whatever, but it is quick and it means I ate and I often forget to eat. <laughs> the comments are so cute. I can't. I, I almost cried. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You wrestling, but you're also affectionate. It's so cute. Oh, my boys. meltdowns like once every you know couple weeks or something like that and uh, it's taken me a really long time to accept them now to like have to hear that I have to like not you know normalize them um it's like hard to to hear that because it's taken me so long to go okay this is part of how my body reacts to certain things um i understand that you're trying to like help um and i'm not exhausted just because of not talented <laughs> because as i said like there's there's no validation step happening right now there's just his problem he's how to fix and the part that needs healing is like hey it's okay like it's okay to, to do that would you like some tips on how to help it or something like that rather than hey something's wrong okay well, we need to fix you so that's how my brain is interpreting that information this is my post therapy face um, this was triggering. Today was triggering. Uh, I, I won't go into it, um, but I learned at the end of my session that my therapist is only trained in, like, helping people with autism and ADHD kind of get back to work and, and do things and overcome their task issue like I don't know getting I don't know how the word how to word it she's sort of only trained in that aspect and she's not trained in trauma or 
PTSD or any of that sort of stuff. So um, our communication has been very uh, not what I expected. So they've been very practical and problem solvy and I'm looking for like a mama bear hug type energy like uh, it's okay uh, that must have been hard like all that sort of stuff um, that they're not trained to do so it's like a big miscommunication so I was bawling my eyes out because I felt very like unseen and unheard and unvalidated and I felt like there was something wrong with me and I needed to be fixed um, but I think this is a good example of when you go to see a therapist and if it's not great, it's okay to not continue to see them. And it's okay to seek therapy with someone who is more trained in the areas that you need help with. <sighs> and at the end of the session, she addressed that she triggered me and I was very grateful for that. And she explained what she's trained in so that I could then make sense of why the conversation wasn't nurturing as much as it was coaching, if that makes sense. Um, so I feel bad because I, I cried to this person who was trying to help me. They didn't know that what they were saying was not helpful and I didn't know that they weren't able to be helpful in the way that I needed it because they don't have that training. So, hey, okay, therapy. We're going to be trying to find a, a therapist. Oh, by the way, this was all phone therapy because I've not been able to access a therapist who's trained in ADHD and autism. Most of the therapists I see, I am training them. And I had a really good therapist two therapists ago who was so good. And then she changed jobs and, and stopped. She moved up. The, the, I don't know what, she, what she's doing, but she's not doing therapy anymore. She's not seeing clients anymore. And I was devastated. And I'm... I think I, I'm like, I miss that therapist and I wish I could go see them, but they're not doing that anymore. So, eh, <laughs> it sucks when you find a really good therapist and then they stop being a therapist. <laughs> um, so the search continues. Um, I need to go have a big cry. Ooh. Yay, crying on, on vlog. It's happened. First official one <laughs> for the vlog. Um, I need to have a cry. When Togu gets home, I'll have a little cry to him. Then give myself some water and some sort of snack to help me regulate. What are you doing? Um, and yeah, it's okay to not get along with your therapist. It's okay to find a new therapist and it's okay to cry. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. Meh. My mama? Coming, dearest. My mama? Coming. <laughs> On the way. Here. Hi, uh, You cheeky bum bum. What hello. you do? Hey, vlog. How you doing? Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. I missed you. I missed you. I'm going to turn the vlog off because I got to debrief. Oh, shit. And then I got to tell you stuff. <laughs> well, goddamn. Yeah, yeah. Careful. Boop. Who's your baby boy? Tolga just got back from Neighbours. Hi! And uh, good he had day. a good day at Neighbours. Really good day. Shout out to uh, to Shiv uh, yeah. for making me freaking yawn during Do the it. action. Do oh, it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Everyone watching. Wait, don't don't hide it. You mm. gotta make it contagious. Yeah. Everyone watching, let us know if you yawned in the comments. Did you yawn? If you didn't, I'm on fire. I'm Phew! This arrived as well. Oh, yeah, did you like that? Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, this arrived, so I'll un unbox that and we'll, we'll try it out. Um, but I still got to edit the video. There's a very flattering <laughs> image of me on the That's screen. That's a really good image, by Look way. at it. What are you doing? In, like, which one are you looking at? That one? Is this? Oh, they're both bad. Yeah. Oh, God. You're doing this, though. And there's an Ella. We got all the cats in the, in the studio today. Oh, babies. <laughs>
Okay, I'm filming in the bathroom because Tolga's filming something and we are both content creators and we've got to both find spaces to film all without getting into each other's content audibly. Um, today, I'm exhausted. I went to a disability support appointment. Um, I'm still reeling from therapy yesterday. I know I said it very nicely in the vlog, but I'm very unhappy with how therapy went yesterday. I've cancelled therapy with that person and I will find a new therapist. I went to Kmart, looked at storage options for future stock sticker, sticker sheet, whatever else I'm going to stock in my store eventually. Um, and I love Kmart. I especially love Kmart that's been tidied and organized. Um, <laughs> I really, I love going down the organization aisles. Um, but yeah, I found some things in the kitchen section that I thought would be appropriate. I also found some things in the bathroom and makeup organization section that would be appropriate. So eventually when the time comes and I need to buy those, I will buy those. Um, yeah, and, and I bought myself a little present because it's it's been a rough it's been a rough two days um so i deserve a treat <laughs> we'll, we'll open that up in a second but it's got little it's got little mushrooms got little forest creatures <laughs> um, that's something that uh togo and i do is that we we've learned to reward ourselves with things from our special interests uh when we've had a big day and you don't need a reason to reward yourself. Um, yeah, are you hungry? Is it food time? Okay, let's feed the cats. I need to show you something. We feed Ginger in the shower, otherwise he steals the other cat's food. And it's the best way we can still see him, and he can still see them, but... <laughs> um, please excuse, I need to clean the shower. I really need to clean it. I'm gonna show you a little trick that he does that I think is adorable. Let's see if I can film it. Okay, you ready? Ready? Tolga taught him these things, by the way. Hungry? Spin? Good boy. Sit? Beg? 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 Good boy! There you go. Good job, baby. Magic cards right Look now. Look how cute it is. Go little Pip Boy. Aww. Oh, she doesn't give it. She doesn't. I, I'm not a she magic doesn't give a shit. Ah. She doesn't. Sorry. I'm not really a magic person. I'm going to make you into a magic person. Yeah, look. It's been ruined and I haven't been able to come back. Um, But yeah. She doesn't care about magic. Tolga loves magic. She gathering. fucking hates magic. <laughs> and I am trying to like it again. And I'm trying I'm trying to reclaim. Help you reclaim. To help yes, me. bitch. Reclaiming. Yes. Oh, you're so freaking Reclaim cute. like wood. What? <laughs> Reclaimed wood. Reclaimed my wood. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, let's put this. Oh, that's so fucking cute. <laughs> ah. It's so cute. Look at his eye. It's really something's, something's not right there. You know what? It makes him extra special. Tolga's cooking a lovely din din. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> This is the salad he made. It's one of my favorite salads that he makes. It's like spring onion, parsley, tomato, red onion, lemon, olive oil, salt. Uh, did you use, what's it called? The red stuff? What's it called? Sumac. 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 Some sumac in it. Sumac. And there's some pulled chicken. And El Janna chicken. El, El, Janna, El chicken. Janna chicken. And then he's making some rice pilaf. Yeah, you got them right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah hell. And while you're doing that, I'm going to. I'm going to play with the shredder. The what? The shredder. Oh, nice. People tell me I should do for sure. Okay. I think it's a good little small size. 
Oh, there's the shredder. Okay, the bin is like the shredder part. Oh my god. Oh, I can't even lift that. That <laughs> shit. Do you need a man? Oh, here we go. I got it. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that the chompy part is actually a machine and the chompy part is heavy. Here's the chompy part. You could, you, oh, that's the chompy part. Oh, Lord almighty. What? Do not get your fingers involved in that. Luckily, we will not be looking Like this? <laughs> Luckily, we'll only be putting things in this way. Holy shit, that's terrifying. We've got some cardboard and paper to shred up and then with the shredded bits, I'm gonna put them in the worm farm and the worms are gonna love it and it's gonna deter maggots and other creepy crawlies that I don't want in my worm farm. Something I wish that they did, if you make a shredder, the box that it comes in should be shredder. not glossy so that you can shred it and give it and compost it yeah, and recycle yeah, it, right? Like I can still put this in the recycling bin but it's not glossy boxes. We're not about glossy boxes. We're all about matte boxes up in here. Yes, I'm making innuendos. I don't know what it means, but I did it. Uh, maximum 10 sheets at a time. It can take cardboard and it's gonna cross shred them. Let's just do it and see what comes out. Oh, big win. Shred big this big. dick. Sorry. Wow. <sighs> okay, that's on. That's in. <laughs> I'm having fun. I I'm not even in the shot. Huh? I'm glad you did that because now I can see that I'm not even in the shot. Oh, wow. I mean, the, look at me helping. You are so helpful. I'm so helping. You are so helping. Oh, that? Yeah. I'm helping. You are so helping. Thank you so much. All right, we're just gonna try and shred. Let's let's come come down here. Come down. Come. What are you doing all the way up there? Come down here. Sorry. The goal here is to make everything worm farm friendly. I know you can't see my face, and I'm so sorry for that. Um, let's turn it on. I have no idea. It says don't put your hands in, don't wear a tie, make sure your hair is out of the fucking way. Okay, noted. Thank you. That's terrifying. Um, let's start with a little piece. Please, please be good. You shredded something? Yeah. Holy damn! I shredded some cardboard. Well, that was cardboard? Look at it now. Now it's worm food. Oh. That was cardboard, bub. Look at it. Holy crap. It's like bedding. You could use it as kitty litter if you really you wanted to. Oh. <gasps> Are you cuddling? Are you two cuddling? Oh, babies. <laughs> We're going to the doctor. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to the doctor. He's taking me. And I will be your chauffeur for tonight, my dear. Tonight? Today. Today and tonight. I don't know what the time is. I gotta, I gotta get my results from a blood test to find out why I'm so tired all the time. It's because you're safe, that's why. It's just because we're safe. It's because I, you got me now. Oh my god, help. Ah, beard, beard, prickle. Oh, tell us in the comments why you don't like beards on men and scratchy faces. I don't know. No, don't tell us that. I love beards on men. Do you? Yeah, I just don't love men's beards on me. Ah! Yeah, you make it wet. Yeah, you water that plant. So we're back from the doctor, and the doctor said that I'm not getting enough D. So I've got vitamin D supplements now. It's all my fault. Yeah, I told you. The doctor said that this is why I could be so tired all the time is because my vitamin D is low. I also have something going on with my liver that I'm like, what? What do you mean? What? Then she was like, do you drink alcohol? I was like, not at all. I don't drink. I stopped drinking when I was 25. So and he was like, yeah, we hate alcohol. And I was like, she was like, okay, hmm. Interesting. Are you taking any like supplements at the moment? I'm like, no. And then she's like, hmm. Wonder what else it could be. And I'm like, what do you mean? What's wrong with my liver? That thing keeps me alive. It's my liver. Wow. I'm actually surprised too because I thought it was gonna be my thyroid. I was like so convinced yeah. it was gonna be thyroid issues. I was very convinced. My that. family has a history of it. I thought that that's why I was so tired all the time. My thyroid's fine. Blood test came back all good on the thyroid. I'm shocked. Hi, Katie. 
What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Mother, no. Mother. Mother, cease. Stop. Cease this affection. I am too overstimmed for this. Oh, he's a boy. Look at this face. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. Oh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> oh, you little shit. Hold me accountable to take my vitamin D and go for walks, as exhausted as I am. And, um, I don't know what else. Eat less sugar. I'm so sad. My mother. I love chocolate so much. I love chocolate. <laughs> I love chocolate so much. All right, we're gonna grab the shredded paper that I shredded up today and put it in the worm farm and hope that the maggots haven't gone out of control and hope that this stops the maggots. And yeah, so let's go worm farming. Wait, 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 wait. Hold me accountable. Oh, this is familiar. You're looking at me confused. I did a whole like recovery diaries series on my vlog channel where I took meds and showed the camera every day that I was taking my antidepressants. So that was like that. Mm, far from the past. This is the whole, this is the whole like. <laughs> this is what I'm taking today, guys. Like, yeah. <laughs> Focus on um, my face. Um, yes, that's what we're taking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, worm farm. He's not looking. Puppy. He doesn't give a shit about what I'm doing. What I'm doing. Puppy. What this? <laughs> Puppy. What this? What this? Uh. You cute boy. Oh, I'm a Wow. Okay. Not okay. as moist. As not as outside. moist. Good. Good. This is good. Oh shit! What the hell was that? It's a moth. Alright, the worms might be eating the bedding. Ooh, Look at all the maggots. Can you see the maggots? Where? Oh, the big fuckers? These fucking big crusty boys. Burp. Holy shit, they're huge. Yeah, maybe just maybe okay. just back up. This is not to gross anyone out. This is just me trying to figure out how to... Deal with this? Deal with this situation. Mm. Okay. But I've seen people do this so roughly and don't give a shit about the worms that I'm like, why oh, do I care about them so much? But my 1,000 children children there's just so many maggies and we don't want them to enjoy the time in here so to, the way to do that is to dry it out a bit and i'm not going to be feeding them any like veggies or stuff for a while damn so i'm just going to eat what's there worm compost conditioner i think it's got like lime in it or something that stops the stops the um maggots from enjoying it because it's a bit dry but also mm. also um the worms love it apparently really so i'm gonna give, sprinkle that on there nice and good it's a good coverage my love good coverage next step is i'm gonna pull the bedding in which is all the shredded paper oh my god it's a lot that's that so we much. did in the last vlog <laughs> so much the last whatever spread it out a bit that's a lot holy that shit. is a lot but i gotta wet it down and they're gonna eat that, right? Oh, this one's trying to escape. No, 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 come on. No, no, no. Inside, not outside. Inside, little buddy. So Bob, Bob the 73rd. Yeah, they're on there, Bob. Look at all the baby worms, Bubba. What, there's baby worms? There's a baby worm right there. You might, t you might have to touch the screen to focus. There's a baby worm here. Look at her gardening, doing the garden thing. I'm looking after my worm babies. We're gonna water it a little bit. Just soak the cardboard. Nice, nice, nice. I, I respect it. I need to get it. a better watering can. I want to get a nice cute one off Amazon with like, um, oops, like, <laughs> like, I don't know, something cute, like bees or oh, a bee, sunflowers yeah. or daisies or something. Hell yeah. Something cute. So water this in so the worms can handle it because it might be too dry for them. Thriving. Oh, there's the worm tea. There's the worm tea. Yum, yum, good. But they won't like that paper and cardboard. Yeah. Maggots won't like that. There's nothing there for them to eat. Nothing nutritious. So, the video is all said like you can naturally get rid of them. It will take a long time, but you can naturally get rid of them by only putting in like dry leaves and stuff like that. Yeah. Paper. Okay. 
We'll check on these guys uh, next time. Hell yeah. Guys, we just found the beginnings of flowers on my gladiolas, which we planted, I don't even know when, a couple months ago. Look, 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 look. Yeah, so this is like, I think it's called a corm, I'm not sure, but the bulbs will, this will open up and all the flowers will form here. Hell yeah. And we found another one. Just by chance. Starting over here. Look at that. Little one here -y. How cool they look. I'm just excited because T Togo and I bought these bulbs on a date. Yeah. And we went on um, to a tulip festival and we didn't plant them for a really long time and I thought they were going to rot and not work, but they're, they're very happy it seems. And they've got a lot of flowers. Yeah, it's cute. I was told to expect flowers by April, so we're now, Ooh. we're mid-March right now. Just, so, it's going good then. So they'll be coming out. I don't know, I'm excited. Yee. I'm keep watering plants. Ah yes, the battles of the sky. <laughs> also, we should check on that wasp nest and maybe hang. Mm. Um, there's a hack where you hang a brown paper bag near a wasp nest. Not like right next to it, just somewhere in its vicinity. <clears throat> to like, imply that a bigger wasp nest, a bigger wasp oh. has, you know, owns this territory. Yeah, right, right. Bigger wasp, bigger wasp crew. Right, after much searching, I found it. It was hidden in the bushes. Right there, you see it? Look at that. I don't think it's particularly big, but it's 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 there. And it's kind of creepy. It looks empty, to be honest. It looks like it's been... Uh... Yeah. We got so many things to do in this garden. We need to mow the lawn again. Oh, God, we need to get rid of all the shit that's on the ground. We Wait, there's shit? No, like... Oh, you mean leaves. Bug shit. <laughs> Worm shit. Got them. Yeah, we just... We, this is a project that we're working on. So it's a big project. It, how it's a big mess right now, but it's also a work in progress, like everything in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Just like our lives. Yeah. And look at these lemons, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this one in here. In here. Watch in here. Wait, 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 wait. Go from another angle. Oh yeah. Look at that one. Oh, that's a lemon. That's a good lemon. Is that look like ready for picking? Uh, oh. Abundance. Um, uh, abundance. I guess it is. Oh, look at these two, Baba. Look at these twins. Baby. Oh shit, okay, they've ready. fallen right off. Okay. Ready. Wait, how how are you doing? We're harvesting up by Yeah, that's that's oh that's nice and soft too. That's nice and soft. I forgot logging is a thing that you have to put in front of the camera. So many hot look this fucking two more right there. Dude, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see all the lemons that are growing, but I've just looked up and I'm like, oh that's a lot. See if you can count how many, because I have no freaking idea how many there are right here. But just in this shot, oh, ooh, that's a nice shot. Oh my god, look at me, Tog is so cinematic. Oh, so a panning shot. Ooh, I should be a director. Um, look at the amount of lemons. And then the lemon tree is feeding the lemon tree. Anyway, thank you for coming to my TED talk. Can we, do we have time? Do, you have to, do we have time to go to Bunnings? You know it! <laughs>
you hang it in your wheelie bin like that and it'll get rid of all the flucky wuckies. Guys, 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 there's an animal farm, there's an animal farm, there's an animal farm, there's an animal farm. <laughs> How do I get involved? Oh, hey, baby. A little baby duck him. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Let it out, my love. Potatoes. Taters. Right? And we planted the onions as well. Yeah, we did. Which are now here. Oh, lovely. One of them sprouted and the rest we're going to see if they're going to sprout. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, garden things are happening. I'm exhausted, you guys. Let's, let's pack up and I need to have a shower and I need to prepare because my business course starts tomorrow. Ooh. I don't have a name for half a lump yet. It's just half a lump. Half a lump. Half a lump. Recycling of rubbish is being sorted. <laughs> I would like to also move all this shit. This, this shit. That way. All of that shit. It's, it needs to find homes. So let's work on that. Okay, I've set up the printer over here now instead of just floating around. It's Wi-Fi so we can all access it, thankfully. <laughs> And then I've got spare boxes and they don't fit underneath there because I discovered that the table's in the way as well. So you saw that issue in the last vlog. So I might have to use the uppies shelves. And I don't want to use the uppies shelves. Those are supposed to be for other things. But yeah, I kind of like that the printer's now out of the way and this station can start to be put together. I, I ended up getting this little guy from, from Kmart. Where'd you get it from there? We were in Sydney. <laughs> this was a while ago. Um, and I thought it'd be good to sort my sticker storage out. Because I only, I'll only have small stock to begin with. And these are for die cut stickers. Oh, I should have done this before you were putting all the rubbish out. <laughs> it's a makeup storage thing. But look, look at the convenience of these little holes. How much was it? Between eight and twelve dollars. Yeah, twelve dollars. Maybe like twelve bucks. Yeah. So. From Jmart. I don't know. I've only got like, in terms of, I haven't split. I haven't sent off artwork to the manufacturer yet to restock stickers, and to start stocking my new drawings. Um, but this is leftover from Twitch, which is my my logo, which that applies to YouTube as well, because this is my YouTube logo. Oh yeah. And this is one. There's one left of my emote from Twitch, one of my emotes. This is like the first emote I ever did on Twitch. Um, and they're little, look at, okay, okay camera, you want to focus on my arm instead? That's fine. They're cute, a little holographic, little, these are called lunicorns. And I should be able to like put, put stickers in the little, little compartments. Wherever I decide to put them, I haven't decided yet, but like, you know. There are 14 holes and two of those holes are big holes. Yeah, that's how, that's how we like them. Are you? 
Are you making fun of me? Yeah, because <laughs> you're just like, like what? I'm like super actually focused and actually excited to tell everyone about this cheap camera sticker storage hack. Um, Hashtag not sponsored. It's not sponsored. But if Kmart wants to sponsor me, I'm all ears. Oh, and these stickers are from when I released my EP. I released a CD and those are, those are somewhere in here too and they'll need storage space in this shelf. Battery's gonna run out. But anyway, when you order my CD, you get a free sticker. Um, yeah, I have CDs guys. They're not available yet, but they will be. <laughs> Sticker sheets for my emotes on Twitch. If you if you watch my Twitch channel, hello. These are my little Peter Pancake emotes. So we use those in chat to express our feelings. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna try and keep sticker sheets in here for now. But we're getting there. We're we're getting there. Stickers, sticker sheets. My store coming soon. Probably in a few months. <laughs> I've had a revelation guys. We have figured something out. These boxes are, are Ikea, but these ones are from Kmart. And this is a very old one, but we might have to find an alternative. Um, and they fit, so we can make the storage work. Under the table. Hacks. Woohoo! Where are they? Sweet. You could potentially hear me out, right? Just yeah. listen, swap the play play. Yeah, 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 listen. Swap whatever's in those into those white boxes. Yeah. Right? Put those down here and then yeah. take those gray boxes and use them there. It could work. Hello, I'm just on my lunch break from my first day of business school. And uh, so far, orientation day is just catching everyone up on how to use computers and how to use the video call software and all that stuff. So. I've been very a little bit bored today with all that because I already know all this stuff so I feel like I'm just sitting there listening to instructions that I don't need because um, I'm like so smart no I'm kidding <laughs> and then we had like a positive mindset coach do a do a talk which was nice um, but then he opened the floor for questions and that part was boring not bo the word the board isn't boring I have a very low tolerance for listening to things I already know. I don't know if that's part of my neurodivergence or not, but I know that I get very impatient when I have to sit through something that I already know and listening to other people not listen drives me crazy. So when they're asking questions, it's already been explained or something like that. I just, I just have to just take my earphones out. Thank fuck I can take the earphones out. In real life, in real lessons, in person, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd have to sit and endure it. So I can take my earphones out and not listen to them if I don't want to, which is great. Um, other than that, um, it's too early to determine the benefits of this course. I've got to have some food. Otherwise, I'll be hungry. Um, I've got two hours left of online study and I'm streaming tonight. So I'll have a little cleaning break in between because I need to do some cleaning around the house, but we're getting there. We're doing things. We're doing things. And that's the main thing. We're doing things. And I'm up. I had to be up and at my desk at 10 a.m., which is early for me, <laughs> but I did it. So yeah, I'm going to eat my food and um, check in with you <sighs> when something interesting is happening. <laughs> As part of my break, I decided to watch my Turkish Dizzy, aka my Turkish soap soap drama. Um, and I do this, I go find a, a video that's been subtitled in English, but I also include the CC captions in Turkish so I can learn the Turkish words at the same time as hearing them. It makes sense to me. Anyway, so I use Google Translate uh, sometimes to figure out what people are saying just in case the subtitler decided to write their own version, and they often do this, they write their own version, their own way of communicating what's being said, but I want the literal version. I want actual translations. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make here is the subtitles here say, look at your handiwork, I was trying to save some money. And here it says, Fushke, fushkerter, annam and, and And when I, when I, saw that I was concerned 
Um, so I put Google Translate on. Let's try and get that to happen. Um, that's what it says is happening right now. For context, uh, the sink exploded and it's going all over this lady's mum. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this information. I wanted to learn Turkish, but now I know what that word is and I've said it. Congratulations, everybody. We've all learned how to say this. Gotcha. Cool. I promise this show is not dirty. I think I think it's trying to be funny right now. Fishka. <laughs> We're live on Twitch. It's Friday. Everybody's here. And and they're being cute and stuff. We're just talking about um, how my course was today and how therapy was. Um, and oh, they're saying hi to you. Hang on one second. Oh, I'll get your camera. Hi, hi, YouTube. Hi, you boob. Hi, you boob. Indeed. Uh, so yeah, that's that stream. If you want to watch the VOD, it's on my Twitch channel. Hello, focus, please. Thank you. Twitch.tv forward slash Luna Tuna. <laughs> I'm on, on YouTube, I'm Luna, and on on Twitch, I'm Luna Tuna. It's confusing. Um, anyway. Tolga and I, after stream, just started tidying because I'm going to have visitors tomorrow and you know how ADHD works. You have visitors coming over. You got to speed, you got to speed clean and you haven't cleaned for a while. Um, but we also put these in. You saw us figuring that out the other day and now they're all in and they're all labeled and it's satisfying. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> and the guillotine that Tolga bought me for my birthday is here. Guys, 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 you ready? You ready to see something cool? See something cool? Oh, I can't see where my paper's lined up. <gasps> How sick is that? That's some sick guillotine, yeah? And it's wood grain, yeah? 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 Yeah, lock it. And we've kind of made, we've kind of made this area, like, remember how crazy this area was when we first started vlogging? It's, it's, it's got space, you can walk there now. Still have to sort through some of this other stuff, but the point is, it's a productive area. And if it's too tidy, I don't want to make art and mess. So, I think this is a good, a good uh, state for it to be in. I also have a box full of plushies that need a home, as in... In the in the house, not they're not going anywhere else. We're not toy storying these guys. These are my these are my babies. We can put them up here. Maybe they can go up there. Fuck you. What? Anyway, up there, up there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Huh? What? Uh, that what? could that could maybe work. What's wrong? My terrarium. What about your terrarium? It's dead. It's dead. Oh. It's all getting like moldy and stuff. Yeah, I don't think there's enough light in your room, my love. Yeah. We tried. What do I do with it? Um, put it back to nature. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, any tips on what to do with a dead terrarium? It is. It's Banjo Kazooie, plushie, and then all the little Jinjos. Oh no, my booty is showing on camera. Oh no, my head was. My head was. How fucking dare you! Yeah, put. put Banjo. And the, and the... Bye, I'm just gonna hand you things like sure. without any explanation. Create create an arts and well. explanation. No, really. That's uh, okay. It's okay. We won't do it. Fuck. Yeah, it makes that corner a little more interesting. Well, They're not centered, but that's fine. Well, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody must scooch. I must scooch a little bit to the side. Scooch. Scooch to the side. Scooch, please. Would you please scooch? Scooch everybody, yeah. Is that a little bit? I don't think you understood the assignment. No, I did not. Centered meaning move everything this way a little bit so that so that they're centered. But they are centered to this. The ginger is up, but banjo is not. What is just is a feature? No, because the whole thing needs to be centered. It looks off balance. 
What do you think, everybody? Do you think it needs to move over? I yeah, think what, it needs yeah. To, what do you guys think? I think because there's a gap now on this side. My finger looks huge. This side looks empty, but this side is full. Oh. <laughs> you got a scooch. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> I can't help it, okay? I need systems. Also, poor Kazooie is being blocked out. Poor Kazooie. Can you just tell me how you really feel? I, I did. I said, Kazooie is being blocked out. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm so confused. How much clearer could I have made it? <laughs> is that better? Yeah, that's now come sit down and come and look at it. Come and look at it. Be creative. I'll fucking create you. <laughs> I'm already, I already exist. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Now we have all our nerdy shit in one corner. All of our nerdy. Look at this cool thing. Ah! Wait, I can't, I can't focus. Wait, what are we focusing on? Did he go race? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Banjo is fucking, and yeah. K Rule and Digicon yeah. and, and, uh, and my books and and books that need to be sorted into mm -hmm. the books and. 80s shelf and more 80s and some D and D. It's like our combined love interest. Love interest? You're in love with the shelf, are you? Love and love combined? In it. Can you not just logic me right now? Thank you very much. Okay. I am very tired. I understand. I've worked a long day. You did work a long, a long day's work today, and I studied a long day's study today. And I had to deal with fuckheads, and I hopefully, life's better. <laughs> hopefully you didn't have to deal with fuckheads in your job. We will see you tomorrow when we're with the family. Hey, this is going to be the first time you see Mum and Ryan and Tanya since probably whatever last video they were in. Good night for tonight, and the vlog is continuing, but we're saying good night. Good night. Sleep well. Dream of no, they're not sleeping. Me. They're gonna keep watching the video. We're gonna sleep. Well, when but you do for them, the video just keeps going once we wake up. Sorry, continue talking. <laughs> <laughs> she does this a lot. She's new. So. I'm explaining. Ooh. Um, when you do sleep, make sure to dream of me riding a camel with a flag that says "Cats Rule." All right, so we set up the Nintendo 64 for game time tomorrow with fam. That's good. Luna's in the bar. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? It's 3 a.m. in the <laughs> What Why is this song actually good? But you did not. Everybody's awesome. Baba! Because I tried to make you good. Hello! They say that they ironically listen. But, but why are you listening? Ironically, to begin with, because okay, people like my music, everyone likes to use it. And then my wife say, I need more followers. I damn don't. her. People say that I should do more shows. And I get better every, every time, time I post. And teachers play my music. For all the English students. I can't speak it. I know. I read that in the comments. Comments. Yes, I read all of your comments. Comments. And they, they are so nice every time. That's why I always, always give it a like. That's why I read, read that in your comments. Comments. You are. <laughs> yeah! I today while you were at work. Really? Yeah. Did you? Right did before stream. Did I you was, record any of it? Did you, I streamed it. You did? streamed it. <laughs> you are absolutely fucking fantastic. I was there like going, okay, how does it go? Um. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> that. Why is this song actually good? Oh, I like, now I really want to learn it on fucking saxophone. Uh, uh. Yeah, so I thought I'd serenade you before bedtime. That's hot. I'm actually so. I'm so aroused. Like yeah, I'll do, yeah. Hurry up, get out of here. Put it back and so come back. <laughs> tonight you will be coming. Coming. Tonight you will be coming. Coming. And then you're so nice. <laughs>
can't conclude this, can we? Yes, we can. We can't include that. Yeah, we can. Of course we can. It's funny. It's <laughs> adult joking, my love. Adult jokes. Adult jokes. And it's good adult when you jokes. adult joke with other adults. Because children do not watch this vlog. They do. They should not watch this and vlog. The, you should not be watching this vlog. Otherwise, yeah. I'll... I'll delete their comments. 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 Yes, I will delete your comments. Comments. And they are too young to subscribe, so won't you go and say goodnight? Cause I'll delete Eat all of your comments. Comments. It's such an addictive song. <laughs> it's four chords. It's just four chords repeated over for the whole song. Just played with the di different dynamic. Thinks in saxophone now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I really want to learn it in saxophone. But like singing it with like a serious voice is really funny to me. People like my music. That is why I choose it. So when my wife say I need more followers, I tell them. <laughs> Just people tell me I should do more shows. That I get better every time I post And teachers play my music for all their English students And everybody asks me how I know I read it in the comments, comments Yes, I read all of your comments, comments <laughs> They are so nice every time That's why I always give it a like When I am reading all your comments Comments Yeah Oh my god Oh my fucking god what? That was awesome <laughs> Yeah you I'm severely turned on no, no, no. Alright, good night everyone, we're going, bye <laughs> Nancy. And we've got a lamb custard tacos. Oh my god, a team. We've got a, we've got a family. Family. It's been a while since I've been in the vlog because it's been a while since we vlogged. Some Turkish eggs, we've got some sujuk, we've got some simik. We call this kak. In Arabic, we call this kak. Yeah, but also, <laughs> no, not car. Nice car. Well, that's a nice car. I get twice in a quick succession. Car, 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 Come eat here, stuff. very good. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna head home now and play some Nintendo 64 from our childhood, so see you when we're being beaten by Ryan. <laughs> I'm gonna win. That's it. I'm gonna win. <laughs> I will get you. I will get you. Oh my god, did it come racing? Oh. You remember who you were? Which character you picked? Oh, who were you? You were always Diddy. No. I was always you Pipsy, Pipsy or Tip Top. Was I? Like, who was I? The turtle? I think, no, I was think you and I. Between Pipsy and TikTok. You're TikTok the turtle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're so the turtle. I was the turtle. What about you? Who did you play? Banjo! Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to remember this is just nostalgia, whereas Ryan is like, this is a competition! I'm going to this is life. She's like, don't be too competitive. <laughs> Ryan's like, fuck off. Hold my beer. <laughs> I got a rep to protect. Are you already finished? <laughs> Fuck off! La la la, is it what you remember? Yeah it is, I actually like just feeling genuinely happy in my soul. Oh, that's oh, so cute! Right. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Fucking right. <laughs> oh, the sludge. Oh. Yeah, get sludged! Yeah! I don't know who did that. That, that was me, I'm playing Yeah, yeah. get sludged! Yeah! <laughs> oh, no. It's the other area. Is it? It's harder to handle because they're fast. Pixies are slow. Is oh. she? Yeah. <laughs> He's going second. <laughs> it's not about the character. <laughs> it's, how, it's how you use it. <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, no. <laughs> Oi, you did not let me! <laughs> I left you. Fuck's sake! Oh. Um, use your right trigger at the top. Oh my god, this to is fucking terrible. To help you steer. <laughs> oh, yeah. To help you turn faster. How do you play this game, bro? <laughs> 
Mario Kart was so simple. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my god, you're gonna beat me! Yeah! Come back! Yeah! Turtle, come back! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, got him. So good. Got him. I lost again. Yeah. Okay, my siblings have all gone home. Home? And tomorrow I have my cousin's son's first birthday. I'm gonna wrap his little present that I got him. This little. Little well, Peter Rabbit, little library looking cute. He's so cute. Wait, don't know what. Look, he's got all the little, the little things, colors, numbers, shapes, and words. And um, yeah, I love, I love Peter Rabbit and Beatrix Potter and the cute little drawings. The theme of the party is a teddy bear picnic, so I found a jumper for a one-year-old. Little teddy bears on it. Oh, I thought that'd be cute. show you one of my ADHD hacks. Here is the front door. Here's where I put things that need to go when we're leaving. Here is a station near the front door. Post-it notes with a marker and some blue tack. What we do is we write on the front door as we're leaving. You can't miss it. Gift, gift for Isaac and there it is down there. Um, the other hack is to just put the things on the floor so you literally kick it if you try to leave. Because as ADHD people, we are forgetful. So that's my little hack that I implemented. Post-its near the door, on the door, pointing to where the thing is. You're welcome. Wait, did you, did you tell them your news? Oh, no, I haven't. Tell them your news. So just uh, yesterday, I actually got accepted for my first paid voice acting gig and I'm Wow, it's so freaking chuffed, man. So that's that's gonna happen in the next week. Yeah. I'm gonna figure out what voice actor. Voice actor extraordinaire. Yeah. Um yeah, so it's gonna be good. I'm gonna be I can't, you know, reveal details can't, and stuff we like can't that. Share. Not yet yeah. anyway, but it's um yeah, I'm really freaking excited. It's the first time I get like a paid gig in acting and voice acting and stuff. So yeah. Actor and voice actor. Actor slash voice actor. If it says it on my Twitter bio, so Does it? Yeah. You're manifesting. <laughs> I am not your Casanova Me and Mariko have never been friends Can't you see how much I live in love Gonna sing it to your time and time again Oh Casanova Oh 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 Casanova Okay, we're here. There are teddy bears. There are kids. There are family members. And food. Uh, and food. I can't film. I'm not. I refuse to film children because YouTube has a thing that you have to tick off yeah. if you film kids. And I think it's important to maintain their privacy. But I will try and film some teddy bears and some them. other things and consenting adults. <laughs> Here's my auntie Angela who made the cake. Oh, yum yum really? good. Oh, oh gosh. Gosh. Yeah, all the all the just, family traditional slices. Just... Hello. 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 We're about to say happy birthday yes. for the cousins. For the because cousins. because we are cousins. Because, because, we're, cousins. We're, cousins. <laughs> because we're cousins. Because we're cousins. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,
We grew up on this stuff. Who's our childhood sweets? You didn't. Me and Tan did. <laughs> These slices. Lemon slice. Like the family tradition. Shirley slice. Hedgehog slice. Slash. Slash. I like slash. I like slash. 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 It's really nice. <laughs> you should have one. Yeah. <laughs> this is what they were intended to be. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you goose. <laughs> That's up my nose. Okay. Can't take the training time. You really can't. It was even doing some sort of illegal substance. Uh -huh. It's still there. Is it actually? Yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? We'll have a play date. Is it better? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Yay! I've always wanted a clothesline for my sister. <laughs> We had a good day with the family. It's nice to be out in the sun in a park. And I have to correct myself because I've been calling my cousin's son my second cousin. He's not my second cousin. He is my first cousin once removed. And we had to look up a chart, which will hopefully come into focus in a second. We had to look up this chart at the park to figure out where we were. So it's my cousin's son making him my my first cousin once removed. First thing I do when I come home from a, a big day is put myself straight into bed to have like buffer slash recharge time. Usually I take a nap. Um, I didn't know that was a common thing with autistic people, but it is apparently having a nap, having some recharge time is very necessary. Uh, so let's normalize it. We have naps, we have happy naps, hap naps. Happy nappy. I don't know what we're going to call it, but we'll figure out a term for it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sit down and uh, like relax, but also maybe just idle, idly doodle on my iPad and, and be productive at the same time while I'm relaxing. It's supposed to be relaxing. How do you relax? Who knows? It's got to be productive while I relax. Um, I might watch some, watch some YouTube videos, watch some fellow small business creators and see how they started their business or what they do in their business and just get some inspiration um and yeah 730 something 735 we've just spontaneously decided to go see the second dune movie uh, <laughs> with lynette uh so we're gonna head out and do that right now he's very excited i love dune I, if you love dune say it in the fucking comments below because i love dune so much. he's very excited i'm so excited let's go come he's, on he's, he didn't see what i was doing <laughs> I was like this. He's very excited. Oh, you <laughs> shithead. <laughs> you may have smuggled dumplings into the movie. Like the and the also, I think this is your first time on the vlog since we came back. Yeah, you take it. You say hi. <laughs> Me? Yeah, say hi to the vlog. Oh, g'day vlog. How you hanging out, man? It's not been a long while since I've seen it. My hair's up, I haven't cut it. So, like, I'm still me. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this glorious beard. Oh. It's gonna be okay, take that. I don't want to be here. Alright. Mmm. This is not going to This is not going to off to work and what else was I gonna say uh oh I've been trying to sort out a, a chargeback error that's happened on my Streamlabs account that the chargeback was never actually made I've spoken to the person and there was never actually a chargeback made a chargeback is when someone donates money to you via twitch and then um 
like tells the bank that they that it was like fraudulent and then wants to take it back but that never actually happened the person never actually did that um and I know this person and they're a lovely human being and they, and they they gave me a lovely uh, donation for my birthday and they would never take it back so um and and they've even called their bank and their bank is like yeah we don't see any chargeback attempts or any fraudulent attempts or anything like that on your account your, the money went through everything's fine we don't understand so streamlabs what the fuck is going on why are you trying to take money away that i received as a birthday gift how dare you um so yeah we've been finding it um the the person and i have been finding it quite frustrating because we're trying to figure out what happened and trying to contact bank accounts and whatnot and be like what where where is this why is it happening we've also disputed it through Streamlabs and sent all the evidence proving that it never actually happened. What are you talking about? And yeah, so I've been a little bit frustrated this morning um, dealing with those things, but like I'm so happy that the person th that the chargeback the chargeback was was uh, made from, and I keep saying that sarcastically because she never actually did it. Um, I'm so glad that th it's that person and th the two of us can work together because if a chargeback happened from a troll, some people are trolls on Twitch and they send a big chunk of money and then they charge it back to you and cause you all sorts of issues. And you can't talk to them because they're a troll and you don't know who they are. You know what I mean? So I'm just glad it happened um, with a friend who I can talk to and be like, hey, this is going on. And they can be like, cool, I'll call my bank for you. Da, da, da. So even though this is a, a, a challenge, at least it's with somebody that I know and can talk to and we can figure it out together. And it's not so stressful because you don't feel alone. You feel like the two of you are in a situation rather than just one person. Either way. I'm sure it'll all work out okay. So um, it's going to take about 30 to 60 days for them to decide, for Streamlabs and the bank or whatever it is, to decide whether or not I lose that money uh, or or they, or they correct it. I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully everything's going to be fine. This break was only going to be five minutes and I spent three minutes talking, so I should probably stop so I can actually have two minutes to go pee. <laughs> okay, back to school. Okay, I figured out a way to cope with online classes. Luckily, there's not much participation required at the moment. It's just a lot of listening. And um, there's some participation, but not enough that requires me to be staring at the screen the whole time. So I've decided that during class, I'm going to draw. <laughs> and I'm going to work on my products um, because I'm pretty good at multitasking. So if I need to fill out any paperwork or anything for class, I can stop and do that and quickly get that done and then go back to drawing and listening. I don't know about anybody else. I focus better on audio re related instructions or anything like that. When I am able to doodle with my, like draw pictures or doodle, I often doodle and people think I'm not listening, but actually it's the opposite. I, I listen better when I'm drawing. So now I'm, I've decided two birds, one stone, work on my art, work on the products that I want to sell for the business that I'll eventually be launching and um, the website I'll eventually be launching and yeah, and do my schoolwork at the same time. So I think that might make me a little less frustrated and a little more engaged in class. Um, let me know if anyone else does that because, you know, I'm learning so much about my neurodiverse brain and uh, I love when I hear other people telling their stories. It's also important for me um, because it makes me feel more valid, but hopefully for you guys, if you are sharing stories in the comments of these videos, like, yeah, I do that too. And oh my God, yeah, I do that too. Or I have ADHD and I need to, I need to fidget or whatever, whatever it is. Um, I don't know. It's helpful. We're a cute. We've always been a cute little community here and I'm really proud of that. So, um, share stories if you want to, if you want to, you do not have to. You will be my bride. We will make eternal love. <laughs> the power has gone out. And so we are hanging out by candlelight. Hang on, I can't really vlog by candlelight. Really... How are oh you filming if the power's out? Oh my goodness, there's ants and chocolates over there. Over here too. Mess over yeah. there. Yeah, do so we're just going to hang out. And we get to tell ghost stories. Oh uh, yeah, for free. So many free things. Oh. You get a million dollars, but 
every time you eat anything with your hands, uh -oh. you fine. have to destroy yeah, a prized personal possession. <gasps> no! Or oh, your cats are fucked. Everyone in a half mile vicinity wants to kick your ass. That one. I'll take that one. What? Beat up? Fuck yeah! I'll I'll grab a fucking. I'll you just ask me them. Just. I'll grab the machete from the first round. <laughs> <and> fuck everyone. <laughs> I think I, I actually think I have too many personal possessions, so I would just make everyone want to beat me up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that means us too. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. <gasps> oh, wait, oh, the psychological fuck. damage though. <laughs> Oh yeah. Emotional damage. I'll just be like, remember that one time you wanted to beat me up because I ate chicken with my hands? <laughs> <laughs> like, like Lebanese food, like you it's put it together. Oh, like, oh, yeah. no, no, so Not would, my hands challenge. What oh, you would do is you put it on like a little true. rotisserie thing, like a corn on the cob kind of thing. Yeah. And then you're not technically using your hands, you're just like cranking a thing and you're like, <laughs> then you eat it as a spiral. You just, you just, you just like open your mouth and <laughs> I think I just like carry tongs everywhere. I'm and just then just like just yeah, that's yeah. Because yeah, technically, when you're using utensils, you're still using your hands to oh, use the no, utensils. No, no. Okay, that's a good one. No. <laughs> don't get testicle on me. <laughs> yeah, don't you dare use your testicles on me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you get a million dollars, but whenever you play a game, oh, fuck. your pants turn into a bit of appropriate short shots. Just like the bunch of like fine. Or a documentary crew will follow you non stop for 48 hours. Jesus. Every time you play a game, fuck so you yes. Could, you could make content for for free. Yeah. You and don't have, get a million dollars. And it's and edited. Million dollars. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to worry about filming, lighting, <gasps> editing. They it do would it for be you. edited. That's actually good. I take that. Awesome. Damn, that's smart. Twitch streamers with content. For yeah, free. yeah. You get a million dollars. Easy done. Yeah. Easy game for babies. It's part of our effort to filter out foods from our cupboards and fridge that support genocide. We've been shopping at Aldi <laughs> and we've been told to try this as a substitute to Milo because fuck Nestle. Um, so we're going to just give a little, little try of it. It smells completely different, mm, I'll be yeah, honest. Yeah. It smells very chocolatey, like very, very chocolatey. It does, yeah. Actually, it smells stronger than Milo a little bit. Yeah. Maybe. Would you like to try some I'm of good them? for now. Thank okay. you. I'll go off your taste buds. Okay. I like am a Milo fiend normally, so it's not even the word. It's pretty fucking close. I will say there's a slight difference. Ding like, ding 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 ding. There's a slight difference. It's got <clears throat> kind of like, like a more oval teeny taste. <gasps> Do you remember oval teens? Yeah, I haven't had oval teens for it's a while. It's a bit more like that. I love oval teens. But they're great. It, in terms of filling the void of me not having Milo anymore, I still have a tin. Where is it? My mum got me a tin like a very long time ago before we even knew what the fuck was going on over there um, with my name on it because I'm such an addict. Um, but we're going to be switching. Switching to this. I think this is okay. I think I could do this. Yeah? Mm. Should try it with milk now. Later, mm. later on. Yeah, later on. Later, later, later. Hell yeah! That's a really good substitute. It's not exact, but no, no substitutes are ever exact. Although... Yeah. The Aldi N Nutella. What is it called? We don't have Nutella. any. Left. Oh, I have it in my room because I usually eat it with a spoon. Um, <laughs> the Aldi Nutella is actually pretty spot on. Yeah. Anyway, there's one more. So that's like one more thing that we've switched to. We've switched. We've switched many things. She's like so chocolate. Tired. <laughs> instead of instead of buying something from Ferrero Rocher. What is it? And Kinder Surprise. Ferrero Rocher. Kinder, which is part of Ferrero. <coughs> Fuck you, Ferrero. Whoa. Um, these taste just like Kinder Buenos. So that's a good substitute. I know, all I can think of is how tired I am <laughs> and how much so I just popular. want to lie down in bed and cry and eat chocolate. And that is valid. But let's, let's... You are valid, you are safe, and you are loved. Yes. Is that how we could, we could end the video? Oh, like that that's cute! You are valid, you, you are, are safe, safe, and you, you are loved. loved. Get see loved next, on. See you in the next one. Get loved on. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs>